Here we have a USB flash drive that came in for data recovery. The customer mailed over the flash drive like this. A lot of wires, a lot of alligator clips. I see the drive here and God knows what. Let's open up the bag, take a look. Looking at the drive from outside the bag, I can tell you I see a Hiroshima. We're going to read what the customer wrote. Wow. 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 Look at this. Look at this. We need to fix this component here, this one here. And positive should be down right here and not on top. Right? I do not see a resistor here or a fuse if we flip the board right there. We do not know if this fuse is good. And if we check rest of the board, we do not see anything going on on top. And if we flip the board, so if the controller chip and the NAND chip are good, we should be able to fix this drive. But I'm interested to know what the customer wrote. The customer said, I broke my flash drive. My husband tried to fix it by soldering leads from the USB connector to the board. Didn't work. So he tried a clip on lead. No luck. The memory chip is still intact. So I'm still hopeful that the files can be restored. Alligator clips in this scenario will not work because the traces are microscopic. Those traces are microscopic. There's no clip in the world that will be able to clip onto this tiny trace here or here or ground or where is the customer clipping? Is he clipping ground or is he clipping this that's going I do not know where or is he clipping this tiny via that's going to back of the board? Alligator clips will not work. Thick wires will not work because I do see the customer provided this. He soldered four humongous wires onto that USB port and there's no way we can solder those wires onto those tiny traces. The wires are connected to alligator clips big enough to jump start my vehicle. It's not going to work on this drive. It's not going to work for this flash drive. No way. Let's start and see if we can save this drive. We're going to start by fixing those crooked components. Maybe we can use hot tweezers. Two components crooked. We fixed them. Now what we're going to do is positive is on this side ground is on this side and then we have d minus and d plus in the center so we're going to have to grind we can tell this pad is going here to that trace and this pad is going to that trace we need our anti-glare light on so we can see everything nice and clean and hello anti-glare no reflections whatsoever if we go back to the ring light Glare reflections. You cannot see anything. Anti-glare light. Wow. Day and night. And like I always mention, if you are in the same type of field or you are doing this as a hobby, you can purchase the anti-glare light off our site. Just log in to northwitchfix.com. Click on shop. Add to cart. Check out pay. And we almost always ship out same day. We carry everything from soldering stations, hot air stations, thermal cameras, power supply, Voltage injection tools, original Ampec flux right here, Braidwick tweezers, whatever we use in our shop here on the bench, for the most part, we carry and sell in our shop. Where is my grinding pen? Got it. So what we're going to do is grind this trace right here. And we're going to grind this trace right here.
and as for the ground pad we can really grind anywhere because this let me turn my multimeter on because this and this are the same this and this are the same and that's enough right now we're not seeing the glare from the flux because of the anti-glare light all we see is an awesome image from this awesome microscope that we also carry inside in our shop let me grab a USB socket I got one right here we're gonna attach wires onto that socket and we're gonna attach the wires onto the board you know what let's prep the board or before we prep the board why not add solder mask to hide this and this because we care about the vias that you see here or we can even attach positive back to the fuse i do not know if that fuse is good or blown but let's measure it meter in diode mode and the fuse is good so we can really attach the positive side of the connector here We're going to use Kimtac wipes. If the board is saturated with flux or flux is still sticking onto the board, it's going to be hard to apply solder mask. Solder mask will not stick. Because a lot of people ask, I applied solder mask. I pointed the UV light at the solder mask for the last five minutes and the solder mask is still soft. A couple of reasons. What solder mask are you using? What UV light are you using? We use the highest quality in our shop. I do not want the wire coming from the connector to hit the ground layer on the board. So I'm covering any possible ground layers on that board. And we want to do this one time. We do not want to keep going back and forth. So do it right the first time. And here we have the Northridge Fix UV light. Make sure you wear your goggles because that light may penetrate your monitor and damage your eyes, right? A lot of you know what I'm talking about. If not, somebody in the comments will tell you. So now I have the UV light over the board. It's like a cup that sits over the board. UV light will stay on for 20, 30 seconds. It went off, I just put it back on. Let's do 60 seconds. The light has a cup. The cup will prevent UV from spilling. So if I have my bench here, the board is on the bench, the light is on. When I put the light on the bench, you do not see any light spilling from all around. The light is on, right? Awesome. And this is all metal built. One of the best UV lights I've worked with. Let's take a look at the board and see how the mask hardened. Beautiful. Awesome. Look at this. Nice. Grab my NF dot mini pen. We're gonna pre apply solder onto the board. pre-apply solder right here and we're gonna pre-apply solder right here and 
probably gonna pre apply solder right here, or we can solder positive onto the back. Here or here. We do not need the anti-glare light to work on this connector. The ring light is better. Sometimes I use the ring light, sometimes I use the anti-glare light, or I use a combination to get the image that I'm looking for. Let's cut the wire right here. And one more. Beautiful. Let's turn off the ring light. And we're gonna start with the ground. We need more solder on that tip. And some flux on the board because flux is your friend. This one is done. Now the second wire. We're gonna solder right here. And third one. We're gonna solder right here. Right now, instead of soldering that wire to the via here, we can do it more securely to back of the board because we have a bigger surface area right here. And how many of you are optimistic that this drive will work? Raise your hand. Flip the board. Maybe we can zoom in just to check our work. Let me turn the fume extractor on. I want to hear that tone when I plug the drive in and I want to also see the light. Are we going to be able to read files? I have USB extension cable here and we're going to have to plug this flash drive in a nice and gentle way. Maybe we can do it like this. I do see a red light. Wow. <laughs> I'm able to see the files. Wow, amazing. Let me show you. All right, and it's the red thing that you see right here. I'm gonna disconnect. And a lot of you will skip a heartbeat when I disconnect. Back up the files first, back up the files first. It doesn't matter, the drive is fixed. I'm gonna plug that drive back in. 
and we're gonna go over to this PC. Wait, we're gonna have to wait. It's taken too long. What's going on? Right there. You skipped the heartbeat, right? We got it. If we double click on the drive, right there. We got it. We got it. All right, awesome. I'm going to transfer the files over to another flash drive. I'll keep the drive plugged in for now so I can do the transfer before I go home. Right now it's almost 6 o'clock and time to go home. I've been working nonstop since I came in. And I did a lot today. I worked on about 12 devices. Four of them are 4090s that came in for a damaged or burned 12VH PWR connectors. Two laptops. I worked on two hard drives. I worked on this one. And what else? I know I did about 12 devices today. But we're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.